All right, let's play some Briar, shall we? The newest champion. She's uh, an interesting one. She she runs it down and fights people basically. Um, very auto attack focused, and she's she's just weird. I don't really know how to describe her. She's just a bit of a weird champion. So I'll quickly describe her abilities. Essentially, a passive. She does uh, her attack supply bleed and heal her for a little bit. So she wants to be attacking away, chomping away at people. Her W is her bread and butter ability. You use it, you do a little hop, a little a little jump, and then you will latch on to the nearest enemy, prioritizing champions. And you just chase them down, you run them down like mad, you go crazy. And while you're like this, and while you're in this state, you, uh, while you're in this state, you attack faster, and you have a little bit of a cleave. Essentially, if you're not running people down, berserking at them, you're kind of weak. So bear that in mind. But obviously, it's double-edged sword because you run at them and you can't stop running at them until you're finished berserking. A blood frenzy. This berserk thing. When this expires, then you can move around. Until then, you literally tunnel vision. The only way to stop it is to press E. And your E is a little... I don't even know how you describe it. It's like a mini Kiana ulti, I guess. Oi, oi, Shaka, what are you doing here? This is it. Your E. This. Whee! If you fully charge it, you push your target back, and if you push them into a wall, you do a bunch of damage to, do, to them. Um, but also, it will cancel your, your W, your Berserk. Your Q doesn't cancel your Berserk, but does mean that you can redirect it, so that can save you sometimes if you're running... At a, at a bad guy and then say you're like in lane or something and you're chasing you press W or prioritize Yone and then you're chasing him under tower you're like oh shit I don't want to chase under tower you can press Q on a minion and you'll change to the minion and, and whatever you'll chill out a little bit your Q is just a little jump though right your Q is just a little jump and does a, t a teeny weeny little stun redirects your, your berserk as I mentioned and does a little bit of armor shred if you insta tap E, it's essentially just a big slow. Um, but yeah, that's all it is. And your ulti is kind of like a Vex ulti if you're familiar with that at all. You fire a mahoosive bolt line thing. Look at this. Look at look at the look at the range on the minimap. It's crazy. You fire this massive little massive little yeah this massive thing in jig and uh, go crazy with that. And if you hit a target, you'll jump towards them. So, there's that. To be honest, when you're... Oh, I didn't mention as well, but with your W, you can reactivate it for a bite. Similar to, like, Warwick's Q, I guess. Sort of. Uh, the bite's really strong, and it's an execute as well. So, you do want to use that. Now, build-wise, there's a lot of different things you can do. It would seem as though, honestly, so far, I would argue that the best Briar build is probably a Bruiser build because you are getting up in front of everyone's faces and going kind of crazy. And it's really easy just to get blown up by people. And you can't stop the Berserk, right? You just run at people and that's that. You really don't have, a, have any choice but to run at them. So if I press W here, I'm going to chase the Yone, I'm going to latch onto him, I'm going to press Q to jump, finish off the bite with the W, sorted. Let's go here. Do, 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 do. Don't think bot's a good idea. It's really easy to in on this character because you like... Yeah, <laughs> you basically just fucking target something and then chase it to the end of the earth. And because your W's, which is your chase, is your main damage as well, you kind of have to use it. Now, your single target damage is not that bad on this character, so your ability to take dragon is not bad either. But... It's not ideal, as you can see I'm taking a lot of damage here. To be fair though, this dragon is quite a strong dragon, but yeah. I also did not press W for a second time. Um, <laughs> just then, which is a little bit of an oopsie. You kind of want to save it for the last second, because it is an execute, but... 
at the same time, if you save it for last second and mess up, then you just don't use it like that. My goodness, I tried to combo with my smite and failed. And yeah, priority should be actually getting it off is better than not using it at all. All right, I did say um, like a bruiser build is better potentially so far it seems like it because it makes a lot of sense as you're just getting in everyone's face and you don't want to insta die while doing it but i just don't find that very fun so we're going to do more of a uh, a squishy auto attacker build here with blade ruin king into potentially some bruiser things after that or maybe some hybrid stuff like a triforce or along those lines yes getting off his priority whiskey correct can i save him here does she need saving? There we go. Jump over the bush. Stun. W. Die anyway. Okay. Well. <laughs> not gonna lie. That was tragic. Having said that. That was probably. The only champion in the game. That could do that to me. On that health. <sighs> Fuck me though. The E from Warwick where he takes like zero damage and then just endless, endless heals. Yeah, I mean that is pretty bad to be honest though. So Briar does lack that burst which is what you were look Like in that situation it's really what you're looking for, right? You just want to insta burst him down. Briar doesn't really do that. So it's a little bit meh. And he also slid through my E. So that didn't go off, which is also really awkward. There's a lot of things that were just a bit awkward about that, to be honest. Um, some misplays, but also some weaknesses to this champion, I would say. And to be honest, Auric is probably just the worst example of, of that. I think any other champion in the game will die there, I'm not gonna lie. Since we have push in mid, push in top, it's a really good time for us to go for Herald. Herald is so underrated as a uh, as an objective, honestly. You get 300 gold for it. It's basically, you just like get a kill. It's really insane. And that's not even taking into consideration the plates that you can get from Herald. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, sure. Fuck, Shaco's here. I didn't realize Shaco would be here. Wait. Oh, the flash is good, though. Saves him. Nice. Honest, so you saw me tunnel vision there really hard, which is a no bueno of this champion. Like, it just happens. I could have cancelled it with my E, but to be honest, I didn't really want to. Run, Silas! Nice. Um, but yeah, Chaco being there is a little bit awkward, to be honest. Not what I was hoping to see. Let's go get this crab. Ooh, he stayed. I don't know about that one. Okay, nice. Go get this crab or any dragons up in one minute. Senna's super dead here. But we've got our Bork here. You know, some good synergy as a as an attack speed champion. Ay. Ay, ay, ay. But the Vorvik is here. I mean, I'm down for this, but not when Warwick is also here, you know. No bueno. I need to use this Herald. Don't know where I want to put it yet, though. Maybe mid. I'm just going to slap that down and run away. There's two top. Dragon's up in 10. Maybe we can get drag here. Holy shit, my damage. Here I go. Guess I'm inting again. 
<laughs> no! Cowards. I blame Sen- like, we, we could 100% kill him there. Senna- Senna's full HP, I'm tanking tower, and she's like, No, I don't want to get too close. What if the tower turns to me instead of you? Coward. That's what she is. She's a coward. Dirty, filthy coward. Hello? Anyway. Let's go for Triforce. Very close stuff here. Very close stuff. My Lethal Tempo hasn't really been doing a lot of work yet. Lethal Tempo is not really for the lane phase, though. If you want to have a lane phase keystone, press the attack's really good. Press the attack can do some good things. Uh, Conqueror is a good choice as well. You stack out Conqueror quite quickly. Especially if you're going for more of a Bruiser Focus build, it's good. But Lethal Tempo is really nice if you're auto-attacking a lot more, like running them down and stuff. Honestly though, Briar just doesn't really have... Hello, beautiful that's not people. one of her things in the lane phase. What's up, Magero? How you doing, bud? Thank you for your resub. Let's hold this bot then, I guess, since Vayne is dead areno. Do 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 Very groovy. Bink, 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 bink. What are you pinging me for, you cretin? What have I done wrong? Eh? Eh? You were the one who got solo boloed by your fucking lane opponent. I'm turbo down for this play. Wait, what? I'm not turbo down for it. That is actually quite funny. He deceived out and it ruined my... Ah! I wonder if I still chase him when he goes invisible though. Oh my god, there's a box there too. There's boxes everywhere, dude. Good to see you, mate. Good to see you. Woo! That heal. Did I get it? I got it. Nice. Good condemn as well. Okay, I'm probably gonna in here. Oh my goodness! I very nearly pressed the go button there. If I had done that, I would have been super dead. I did not realize I was literally on top of Rakan. I think Yone maybe goes aggressive here. If not, he's away from the tower, so maybe we kill him anyway. Alright, let's press W. We latch on. We stun. Didn't press W, but that's fine. Didn't get my empowered by it. It's whatever. In a situation like that where you can just run someone down, I think this champion, you know, she has a merit. She's not too bad, but... Obviously, there are risks involved with that, and it can be difficult to find those opportunities where you can just run at someone. That is a good Everfrost. Nice. Someone behind me, or am I crazy? Maybe I'm crazy. I'm El Paranoido. Let's push Bop. Let's get some farm. You do kind of want some farm on Briar. She's... You know, she's a bit of a stack check champion. You either run at someone, slash them about, and kill them. Or you run at someone, slash them about, and die. Uh, it's no real middle ground, to be honest. You see there, I started latching onto Yone. And that would have got me killed, for sure. That flash was exceptionally close. <laughs> My god, that hill. Don't ping me, you cretin! It's the scuttle crab. It's the scuttle crab. Do people not know that junglers get more experience for taking jungle camps? And gold. And gold. Honestly. Do I get him? Oof. I was too late. Oh, 
Is he here somewhere? Nice. Ooh. Press W. Easy peasy. Don't worry, mate. I'm just helping you. Ya bruza or assassin? The fuck is it? Bro, you're on like 40% health. I could be anything. <laughs> What's he thinking? Unless it was Warwick in that verse. If Warwick was in that verse, I'd be dead. I'd be screwed. Alright, we got a Triforce here. I like Triforce a lot on Breya. Uh, bruh, bruh, bruh. I like her on Breya. She's, it's, it's cool because it gives you good stats. Like, all the stats are good on Briar. Uh, you get a bit of health to survive a little bit more. Attack speed to, like, slice and dice nicer as well. Uh, AD is really good. The Sheen hit is great because your W when you're Berserk, when you tap W, actually it empowers your next auto attack. So that works off of Sheen or your Q as well. You know, you'll be able to jump in with Sheen. Um, I think that's the first time I've used my E aggressively. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just all the stats are great, and also this is a little bit underrated, but this this thing here a uh, threefold strike attacks grant move speed Really nice for chasing people down If you're going more of a bruiser build, I think the stride breaker is great Honestly that that feels really good as well like you jump on top of someone and you you stride them So here again, I'm gonna press W latch onto Yone What's he gonna do? die. That's what he's going to do. Your E, I didn't mention this as well, but it does heal you a little bit as you're channeling it. So you can use it in a in a sticky situation. Not just to cancel your Berserk, but also hold it down and heal a tad. If I... No, it's in. It's in. It's pure in. I was going to jump over the wall, but that would have been bad. Fuck, you know, there's three people there. Come to me, Zaya. Uh oh. No, that's missed. Fuck! The problem with that ult is you have to channel it for like... I mean, I don't know how long exactly, but like a second and a... and a half or something. It's not just like you're throwing it out and predicting their movement. You have to predict their movement and your cast time. You're predicting their movement like, you know, a little bit into the future. It's so hard to... I, I'll be honest guys, I'm not good at hitting that ulti. But it's, it is definitely a strong ult. If you hit it and tag someone, you go crazy. Like, you instantly, you fly in, instantly berserk the target. You fear everyone around around the target as well. It's really insane stuff. Never get tired of hearing damn cool people cretins. Well, that's good because League of Legends has no fucking, is not lacking for cretins. So, yeah. Let's go tier two boots here. I think it's a ninja tabby angle. I mean, the... Um, the CC on their team is a little bit meh, I guess, like, Warwick's... Like, we're, thi we're thinking, like... Well, actually, I don't know. We're thinking... CC that is kind of hard for me to dodge. And to be honest, this is a, a weakness of Briar as well. All CC is hard to dodge because when you're berserked, you can't fucking move or do anything. So you can't, you can't dodge anything. You're just running in the line of someone. But yeah, like the Rakan charm, because it won't work on the knock-up. Tenacity doesn't work on knock-ups. But yeah, the Rakan charm. Uh-oh. Um, the Warwick Fear and the Shaco boxes are really the main ones that I'm trying to avoid here. Does this hit the real Shaco or does it hit Warwick? Please don't hit Warwick. Ooh, Rakan's there as well. Okay, I save, I save. I troll. Whose TP is that? Yone? Okay. That is so tempting. I'm still... I don't know what I'm doing here, to be honest. Fuck it. Let's limit test a bit. What's my bounty? 300? Sure. Oh, here we go. I've latched onto him. I'm berserking. I'm going crazy. I'm hungry. J'ai faim! Fuck it, no. Hmm. It's a little bit disconcerting, though. That Yone could probably kill me there. Pretty easily. 
when that's like all I do, right, is run at people and fight them. I guess I did kind of waste some of my berserk chasing. I'm going in on this. This is probably a bad idea. Nah. Well, we're we're chasing. Fuck it, we're chasing. Let's go, baby. No one saw that. Okay. <laughs> uh, I should have chased. I should have flashed on Fucky and Zaya there. What do I want next then? I mean, we got Warwick. That's cool. Do you want to go track down? Not not the greatest, so I'm not gonna lie. Not the greatest. Could you could do Death Dance, but feels kind of wimpish. Uh what do I want here? Any good marksman items for me? I mean, attack speed stuff. It probably is fighter items, isn't it? At this point, don't think I need the cleaver. It pro I guess it is death dance. There's not really any good options. Titanic could be good though, but I don't have a lot of health in my build. Um, and I feel like the value of death dance is actually pretty crazy when you're going like a um, life still, life still build. Well, life still build. You know, when you've got lots of life still in your kit, like I do. Because Briar is Briar, like my passive gives me, my passive heals me, my W heals me. Obviously, I've got Blade and King as well, but when you're healing a lot, Death Stance is really good because it staggers. You can't, it, it's harder for you to get burst down. And if it's harder for you to get burst down, it buys you time to heal up with your autos and stuff like that, right? Come on, Rakan. Face check me. <laughs> I mean, what can I say? That was just a big outplay. I'm dead. <laughs> that combo, what the shit? See, like, honestly, if you just get people to run at you and attack you, you're groovy. But, easier said than done, I guess. Okay, my ulti is now literally, like, global. Let's see if this hits Zaya. It's his side, baby! I am suppressed. And I fucked up. Shit, I think I could have. I think I could have. I think we could win this. I think this is my fault. I mispallied. I fucked that up. Okay, two things I did wrong there. Um, I insta tapped my E instead of channeling it. I would have healed up from my E as well. Also, I don't know whether I would have positioned Warwick for the push into the wall, but I probably would have. But still, either way, I would have healed up, which would have been good. 40% damage reduction plus the heal up. I would have been groovy there, but I, I just insta-tapped it by mistake. That's a pure misclick. My bad. Second thing I did, I actually think I had an opportunity there to press the activation on my W, which would have healed me a fuck ton. But I just didn't click it. I, to be fair, though, in that, in that instance... That was uh, that was a little tough because uh, I had like a very small window to press it before that Warwick insta killed me. Like that was more just like a that that would have been like a butt clench moment that possibly would have saved me. I mean, I, yeah, I don't know. Still my bad. Combo my W with my smite. It's good when you can do it properly. Hello! Can I get this? Brilliant. I'm just gonna run at someone here. Oh. Out of range for my W. <clears throat> I feel like I'm gonna die here. I can just smell a death. Do you know what I mean? I've got a, st I've got a stinky play in my brain. Oh, fuck. Come to me! No! Fuck. Too much CC. Too much peel. Like a... Like an overprotective banana. -i. Maybe this is where the Mertreads would have come in, come in good there, you know? The Rakan ulti. Also, he did ignite me, which was a little bit BM. But then again, I was also running down his ADC, so... You know. 
maybe that's understandable. What do I want here? Starx is fine. I don't really need MR. Anti heal again. Ugh, I mean, it's okay, but I don't really need it. Do we just Titanic here? Mm. I mean, maybe Starx is where it's at. Again, anti burst stops us from getting insta killed. If we're not insta killed, then we can chase people down more. Shield bow. That's an interesting shout. Oh, excuse me. That's an interesting shout. Yeah, Shilbo. Interesting. Uh, don't think it's better than Starx, though, right? Maybe. No, I'm, I don't know. You think anti heal? I'm not really convinced anti heal is where it's at. Don't really think I need it. Don't really think I need it. Like, I'm not. I'm not really fighting Warwick for starters, right? Which would be a real good target for the anti heal. And without without fighting Warwick a lot, I just don't think it's necessary. I'm using my W to jump over walls. Really good way to get around the map, but be careful if you use your W to jump over a wall and there's a target on the other side of the wall. Or sometimes even from the wall you came from, if you're jumping out of danger, you will fi you will latch onto it and focus it. Let's see if that hits. We'll find out. Oh, it hit. <laughs> Off I go. <laughs> yeah, it hit. It hit. Noise. Very groovy. G -g -g -g. Her E cannot be interrupted by CC. Can't it? Wait, but when I was fighting in the in mid there, I got knocked up. And then it interrupted it. Am I wrong? Damn you, Silas. Damn you, Silas. Her E still charges even in a knock-up. My E went off. Really? Did it? Oh, shit. I thought it stopped. Huh. Well, you learn, you learn something new. There you go. You can't be interrupted by CC. I didn't know that.